It is no secret that the E28 is one of the slowest cars to come out of the 1980s because of the M20B27. You'd be driving a 528E and it's torquey. It'll get you places in style that I cannot argue with. But what I can argue with is that it's not very fast. So if you didn't have the cash to blow on the 535i, you did not get a fast car. So because these cars are becoming more scarce by the year, these cars are kind of, you get what you get. If you can't find a 520 or a 535i, then you're stuck with 520e and I'm not complaining about being stuck with this. I can drive this stock and be completely happy. But because we actually have a choice to not be stock, we're not going to be stock for very long. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get a swap going on this car as soon as possible, actually starting today. What we have is a M30 B34 engine, and this is out of an 85 535i. That was generously donated by my buddy Johnny uh, here in San Diego. He has one of the sickest E28s I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna throw a picture up of his car. It's amazing. He was really awesome for donating this to us and our build. Shout out to you, Johnny. You're the best. We really appreciate it. And while it may not look like much, it was a running engine. It is dirty, it's sat outside, but whatever, it's free. We're not gonna complain. It's missing tidbits. You know, it's it's gonna be a work in progress, guys. It's not gonna be overnight. We're gonna take our time, and it starts today, because today, we get to take it apart and start fresh. We're gonna take it apart, clean stuff up later on, but I specifically wanted to make this video for you guys out there that have never taken an engine apart before and it kind of shows you the simplicity behind these engines um, they're not too complicated you're not dealing with vanos you're not dealing with anything electronic really these are really analog heavy engines and that's the beauty of it and you've got a timing chain which doesn't snap it'll 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 stretch but it won't snap unless you're really pushing it but we're going for a modest build we just want to go fast and get there safely and you know do burnouts who knows do fun stuff that's what we're aiming for and right now we can't do it with an m20 b27 in its stock form i mean that engine could be really awesome that i can't argue but we're gonna go this route so let's take it apart Like you may have noticed, the oil pan is not on there at the moment. That's because it was already partially disassembled when I got it. So if you're following along at home with your M30 or even an M20 because it's super similar, uh, there's an oil pump here. You can see that there is bolts in the block and this bracket um, that would hold on the oil pump. Uh, and the oil pan, super self-explanatory just bolts into the block along the edge here
Look at that. You can tell it's been sitting a while. It's already starting to rust. First thing that you could check as far as wear indicators are the ridges that build up on the sleeves. And this one is actually, it's not, there's no real ridge present. However, there is an, a dead spider present. I don't know if you can see it. That's uh, not a specific wear indicator, but yeah, this is really, really grimy. But you know what? I am grateful that I have this because this is going to be an awesome swap once again for our old little E28. So with that removed, you saw how simple it was to actually remove the head itself. It was a no-brainer. So if you're working on this in the car, it's literally take this, make sure it's top dead center first because you don't want to put it back not being in top dead center and then you're going to install everything and then you're going to hate your life once you turn over the car for the first time because guess what? Your valves will meet your cylinders and they'll get real intimate. Don't do that. Uh, always put it in top dead center. In this case, it didn't really matter because we're gonna rebuild the valve train outside the car. The entire engine's out of the car. So everything's outside the car, so it's a little easier, but always set it. Always make sure that you have the tools with you. As you can see, it took just hand tools to take this off other than the, <laughs> other than the impact that I used, but it wasn't very much torque at all. I don't have a breaker bar with me uh, so I could have just used a ratchet, but it would have just been way more effort than I was ready to put in. There's a lot that we can't do right now without tools, and I don't have my tools because it's going to have to wait for the next upload. But at least we took most of it apart. It looks great. This valve train looks really clean. I don't think I've seen a valve train this clean in a while without having burnt oil on it. Looks great. Uh, the surface, the surface looks great too. I resume look at that yeah, let me peel this off so we can assess the health and condition of the head as it was running very clean very very clean just as a pointer guys, solid rings, no interruptions really in between. That's always a good sign. So we have ourselves a very good condition, an engine and top end in very good condition. It just needs some love. That's all we gotta do. We gotta give it some love. While we didn't get as far as I wanted to get today, I'm really stoked that we at least got the cylinder head off and I was able to show you that um, actually getting this off in the correct sequence is a, it's a way better practice to get these cylinder heads off because they're aluminum and they do bend and warp and stretch and you don't want to do it in the wrong order because it could warp the wrong way and you will have to get it resurfaced. Believe it or not, sometimes you do not have to resurface these if the tolerances are good. But take it to your machinist because they'll tell you whether you need to get it resurfaced or not. I'm really happy you guys joined me today on digging into this engine the first day because I've been waiting to make this video because this, this project to me is going to be really awesome. 
There's a lot you guys don't know yet. I want you guys to wait until we actually start rebuilding it because it's gonna be a monster. A monster in my world because this is gonna be the fastest car that we have in our in our little fleet. Thus yet. That's if we don't do anything else because we have other things in the works. Anyway, I'm talking too much. You guys, thank you very much again. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day. Take care.